What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So today we have lots of Funko news for you. We have shipping updates, new things hitting stores, lots of new things announced in the last few days, and more. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope your Thursday is going well for you. Like I said before, we have lots of new things to go over, but before we jump into all that, we have our question of the day, and that is, do you have a Funko Bob in your collection that has red eyes, and I have Wolverine here? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with all of our new announcements in the last few days. So a lot of these things you actually saw in a previous video I did just a couple days ago, and you saw kind of like in-person looks, but here are the official product glams so you can get a really good look at them. First up for sports, we have several new baseball players here. Now, these are all slated for a July August ETA and are currently available for pre-order and one does have a chase variant which is Andrew. And for NBA fans we have several new slam covers coming soon of multiple different players and these ones all have a July ETA. Moving on to music we have several new pops here. We have Baby Jane Hudson and Blanche Hudson with their black and white chases. I actually do like that new black and white chase sticker too it's pretty cool. Now we also have Aretha Franklin and Rosalia. Now these are all commons and available for pre-order and they're slated for July through August. Moving on we also have looks at Ed Sheeran from one of his music videos here, the horrifying, scary looking pop. Now this one also has a Diamond Collection previews exclusive that is available for pre-order right now. We also have a brand new Shakira Funko Pop as well as Lenny Kravitz. And even more music pops, we have a brand new Michael Jackson Pop album that actually looks pretty good as well as an MTV Moon person. Now Shakira and Mariah Carey will also be getting pop albums. All of these are commons and slated for an August ETA. Lastly for pop music, we also had two brand new Snoop Dogg Pop one of them being a 10 inch super size pop and both slated for an August release. Now moving along, we also got first looks at all of the brand new Ted Lasso Funko Pops here. So check this out. We have Roy Kent as well as Coach Beard as an Entertainment Earth exclusive, Keely, Rebecca, and Sam. As well as on the right there, we also have Ted Lasso himself with the chase variation being where he has a hat and sunglasses on. And on the bottom there, we also got Jamie Tart there that is a Target exclusive and still available on Target's website. Now all of these are currently available for pre-order if you still do need them. Moving on for pop movies, we have closer looks at Eric Draven here from The Crow. Now he does have one where he has the guitar and flames around his feet. And then the other common is where he just has his hands out in the open. And both of these are slated for an August ETA. Now speaking of movies, we also have two new Killer Clown Funko Pops. We have the Baby Clown as well as the Fatso Clown. The Baby Clown is definitely very creepy just popping out of a popcorn bucket like that. That is gonna make me look at popcorn a little bit differently from now on. Now both of those are commons and they're slated for an August release, so make sure to pick them up if you need to. Next up, if you missed it, we also have a soy sauce bottle coming. Probably the funniest thing I've ever seen, a soy sauce bottle with feet and sandals, that is so weird. Now it's also holding chopsticks and I think some of its own sauce? That's kinda weird. I don't know, I don't know, this pop is weird all around to be honest. Now usually I don't care about the pop foodies too much just because it's like they're taking a Twinkie for example and putting googly eyes on it and a mouth, it's just super weird to me. But this soy sauce one actually looks pretty good. And it's like, uh, I, I, I just hate that it looks good, I guess. Next, Funko has finally announced some new Digimon Funko Pops here. So we do have two brand new commons of Gomamon and Patamon coming this August, currently available for pre-order. They actually look pretty cute and good, to be honest. This seems to be a line they don't pay too much attention to just because it probably doesn't sell well for them. These are the first new pops for Digimon since all the way back in 2018. Like it's been five years since we've seen any. All right guys, so those are all the new things that are currently available for pre-order right now. If you guys still need to order anything, I'll drop links down below for you, so make sure to check out the description. So over on the Funko shop, we do have a couple new things. So recently, we actually had some drops of some Funko sodas. We have Beach, Mickey, and Mini, where they do have black light chases. Those black light chases actually don't look half bad, I will say. And then we also had the three liter Groot exclusive, where it does have the translucent chase. Now, to my understanding, these are all still currently available, so make sure to head over to the Funko shop if you do need these. Also for the Funko shop, we have our next facet exclusive, which is Spider-Man here. Personally, I will be going after this one because I do want to add it to the collection and I hope it really looks good in person. Now this Spider-Man pop is set to drop this Monday at 9.30 a.m. PST, so make sure to head over to the Funko shop at that time if you do need it. We also had the Cocaine Bear exclusive where the bear has the bag. This one is actually releasing tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., so if you guys need this one, make sure to grab it. Moving on for Spider-Man fans, over at Target, we actually have an upcoming Blacklight drop from across the Spider-Verse here, so check out first looks at all the upcoming exclusives. So we do have a two-pack 
of Spider-Man 2099 and Spider-Man India, we also have a 10 inch Miles Morales where it's all purple. Not gonna lie, I'm not fully loving that full purple. That's just me though. We also have a two pack of Spider-Gwen and Spider-Woman, as well as the spot in a pop and tea bundle. And lastly, a Miles Morales exclusive. Now I can confidently say to you guys, I do not like most of these. Like at all. The only one that I really like is the two pack of Spider-Man 2099 and India, which honestly that two pack doesn't even really make sense if you watch the movie. I don't really like these designs at all, especially the 10 inch miles. It looks a little weird. So basically what they did here was just take all the commons they just released and then also turn them into black light exclusives. I would have much rather have a brand new wave from the movie because there are literally endless Spider-Man variations they could have chosen from. And they chose to do this. And this is fine for any Blacklight collectors. I just don't really see these being crazy, crazy hot sellers because like the Guardians of the Galaxy ones, those ended up on clearance shelves like shortly after they released. I mean, then again, across the Spider-Verse, there's a lot of hype right now for this. So some of these could end up selling out online. I don't really know these days. It's very weird with Funko Pop releases. They'll either sit on the website forever or sell out immediately depending on what it is. We'll see what happens. But again, this drop is happening this Monday. If I'm being honest, I don't really think I crazy need any of these in the collection, so I'm not gonna go out of my way to pre-order them. If I come across them in the store and they look better in person, maybe I'll pick them up. But as of right now, I'm not loving the colors they chose. Next, for Pokemon fans, we actually had a new Pokemon Center drop today, and that was the pearlescent Charmander here. Now, if you will compare this one to the old SDCC metallic one, you will notice these look very much the same, with the metallic one just looking darker, essentially. So. Not too much creativity going on here, like at all. It's just such a bummer because this is such a big collab between Funko and the Pokemon Center dropping exclusives on their website, introducing so many new fans to Funko Pops, and then they do this. And I'm not saying they're not popular because they are selling out left and right. I'm just saying there's just so much lack of like thought or detail put into these like at all. But in this situation, it seems to not really matter because again, these are just selling out almost instantly. All right, so for Boruto fans and Naruto fans, I have some quick shipping updates for you. So these four triple anime exclusives, including Naruto Baryon mode, Boruto with the Chakra Blade, we also have Kawaki here, and Jiraiya Sage mode, are all going to be shipping out within the next two or three weeks. The stock has arrived for them, and that stock is being sent out to different retailers. So if you ordered from Amazon, if you ordered from Entertainment Earth or any other shop that does sell these, just know you should be getting an email update within the next two weeks, three weeks max, I do want to say. Now, something also to mention to you guys, if you have not ordered this one just yet, I did actually post some links on my Instagram and community tab here on YouTube to a seller that does have these in stock right now if you would like to grab them. We also have some updates from Hot Topic of a lot of new things hitting their store. So check this out, guys. On the left there, we have pretty much a majority of the Borto Commons starting to hit your local hot topics on the west coast slowly making their way across the united states now on the right there we also have several new pops hitting stores like the spongebob and patrick two-pack where they're wearing the best friend t-shirts we also have the stitch with turtle exclusive hitting stores some new star wars nightmare before christmas the new peter pan disney pops also in there we have usher hitting stores some of the new wwe hannah montana which is a pretty cool one the trailer park boys the crow and then on the bottom right there you also have some of the new jujutsu kaisen pops like toe with his Chase variant hitting stores. Hanako seems to be restocking and he also does have a Chase. And lastly, we even have the new MHA baseball pops hitting Hot Topic. So as always, I like to tell you guys to make sure to be following your Hot Topics on Instagram because they will post what stock and new pops they get in. In other news from Hot Topic, it does look like the new Anime Expo exclusive Goku and Krillin from Dragon Ball is starting to hit stores or at least they do have stock of the pops at the stores. So thank you to one of my followers, Paco Pops, on Instagram for sending this to me. What's interesting about this is that that Hot Topic actually immediately took down the post because they realized they were not supposed to show that they have that stock yet. According to Disc Trackers, this one does drop on July 5th, just in a couple weeks here. So if you do need this exclusive, it does look like it's dropping on July 5th in store and online. As of right now, we haven't seen if there are any more Anime Expo exclusives coming soon. I'll update you guys in the future if anything changes. So guys, those are all the updates I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about anything we just discussed, make sure to drop those comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. To end off the video, I do want to say a big shout out to all the amazing Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 18,000 members. That's a buy, sell, and trade group, as well as be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up 
to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.